What's going on, everybody? Monday. It is, it is quite literally like two weeks before Christmas. About to be putting together my vid for Thursday. Me and Bubba went out and hung out yesterday. It's going to start with Sam coaching his basketball team Friday night. And then me and Bubba went and hiked some trails yesterday. It was actually pretty fun. It turned out pretty good, I feel like. And I enjoyed calm, peaceful house. Somebody didn't ask me to do a billion things for them. It was nice. It was nice. And this morning I was just doing a little mental around and I found, all right, so I want to read Matthew 17, let's go 14 through 23, 14 through 23, okay, now tell me if you see anything crazy here, starting at 14, Jesus heals demon possessed boy, when they came to the crowd, a man approached Jesus and knelt before him, Lord, have mercy on my son, he said, he has seizures and is suffering greatly. He often falls into the fire or into the water. I brought him into your disciple, but they could not heal him. You unbelieving and perverse generation, Jesus replied, How long shall I stay with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring the boy to me. Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of the boy, and he was healed at that moment. Then the disciples came to Jesus in, a, in private and asked, Why couldn't we drive it out? He replied, Because you have so little faith. Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will be, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Then, it says, when they come together in Galilee, Galilee, he said to them, the Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men. They will kill him, and on the third day, he will be raised to life, and the disciples were filled with grief. Now, what did you see that was weird about that? How about this? Read me Matthew 17, verse 21. Where is my 21? I don't see where it's marked 20. Why is that? Now, so, right at verse 20 is in here. Me too. For if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and then we'll move. Nothing will be impossible for you. And then it skips verse 21 and goes to 22. Now, if you bust out the old school King James Version, 17, let's see. Then they came to the disciples who Jesus apart and said, Why could not we cast him out? 20, and Jesus said unto him, Because of your unbelief, for verily, surely I tell unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Verse 21. How be it, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Why is it not in the So they Bible? took out of the New Version Bibles, they took that verse out where it says the only way that a demon can be possessed or cast out is only by prayer and fasting. That part they took out. Why? Don't know. Super weird, dude, and it's on They'll all check your Bibles. the new Bibles. Go to Matthew. Literally telling you how. Okay, so the so the disciples were like, "Why couldn't we cast out the demons? Why couldn't we cast out the demons?" He said, "Because you you got little faith." They're trying to figure out why they can't cast out the demons, and then they purposely leave out the verse that tells you how to cast out the demons. The only way that this can be done is through prayer and fasting. They took that out of the new Bibles. The new That's kind of disturbing. Um, and, and they then, didn't even try to hide it. I mean, other than just not putting it in there. I got to look in a little more in 18, 10. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that their angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. Skips 11, goes to 12. What do you think? If a man owns 100 sheep... Would he not go after the one lost one? All right, and then 18, 10, right, that's one that skipped, right? No, it was 11. 11, right? 11. For the Son of Man has come to save that which was lost. Is not in these, the new, new Bibles. 
It, it has the number for the scripture, but the scripture's blank. No, mine don't even have the number. It goes from 10. Huh, see? Mine actually has the number in parentheses, but there's no scripture there. Why? That's kind of twisted. Work of evil, dude. Now I'm starting to kind of understand what people are talking about, how these new translations, man, you can't trust them because they're leaving stuff out. Very, I mean, very, it's very as important. As Maybe it's good as a reference point to be able to better understand what this says. So, Jan, I'm on the same page with you. Yes, ma'am. Right, that's what Jan reads? Yeah. And she reads King... The original. King James... Or, well, I the original English translated Bible, which is King James Version. Yeah, because as you can see, this is like a very, very old Ooh, Bible. What's it say on the front of it? It's a Holy Bible SS Scholars Edition. Okay, but who is it? Is there a note for who, who owned that Bible? Is it something my this family This came had? from my couple. Sheldon First Christian Church. And they gave it to my couple. Mm. Copyright 1904. 1904. This Bible is from 1904. It's not that. It can't be that old. I think that's just the copyright. No. I, I don't think it's that old. I would say it's probably 50s or 60s. Because that Bible would be falling. I mean, it is falling apart. I don't know. I just thought that was super crazy. I can't believe you noticed that. I just wanted you to go through and in. see did I see any more scriptures in parentheses. And I did. And they're both in the book of Matthew. So how many other times have we missed something? It's crazy, man. Why would you keep that out? Like, to me, that's just more proof that Jesus is the way. He's already the Why most beat down and ridiculed and made fun of religion out there. You don't hear nobody making fun of any of these other religions or ways whatsoever. Only Christianity. Why? Or whenever you see these ghost shows or demon possessed places, what is the only thing that ever gets it cleaned out? The name of Jesus Christ. Come on, man. By prayer and fasting. There's so many well. little subtle evidences, like we're in 2023. Is it 2023 in China? Yep. Is it 2023 on the other side of the world? Yep. Why is it 2023? 2020 years, 23 years away from the death and burial resurrection of our Lord. And it's all our the time. time is counted exactly the same by the exact same event. You can go back and change it to mean what you want it to mean Six. all you want before common era, blah, blah, blah. No, that's that's not it. That's man-made to justify the person who don't believe in the Messiah. It's crazy. There's too, there's, like I said, there's just too many subtle proofs he is all around us. That. In so many ways. That it is true. Alright, and so, let's stop that because I don't have much time. What? So, what's your plan for today? I don't know. You're going to take me back? I'm going to work on my sign, I suppose, or will. You don't have to. What sign? Huh? What sign? What sign? Tisha sign. I'm almost done with that. And uh, now all I've got to do is put lights on it. Did you get the other part painted? get everything glued together. Huh? Don't say what the other part was, but did you get it painted? No, not all the way, not no. the front part of it. I should be ready to hopefully show it in our live tomorrow. Hopefully have it done by that point. At least close enough to show everybody what's going on with yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't sleep great last night, man. It took me forever to fall asleep. I haven't been sleeping well for a while now. I don't know what my plans are today. I said I plan on just working on her sign. We didn't have a whole lot of plans to do anything. Um, and just a reminder, I'm pretty sure um, Tish has her no judgment here with Tish. Oh, that's right. Podcast tonight. Tonight. At seven Central Time. Yes, so go, go check, check out. out No Judgment yes, Here with Tish out. tonight. Who is good. it she's having? I don't remember the name, but I believe it is something, and I am sorry if I am incorrect, but I believe it is something to do with how somebody was um, sex trafficked. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember her talking yeah. about. Yeah. Crap, that. I cannot remember the name. I'm sorry. But go check it out. We will be there. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be good. It's always good. Come home, warm up leftovers, because I ain't cooking. There ain't no sense in 
make anything else when we got leftovers. So that's what we're having for dinner. The same thing that we had last night. It was delicious. I'm going to do more bread like that. So other than work on the night. sign, I'm going to get that video, start editing that video. Yeah, you need to get that done. So it's just ready to go Thursday. And uh, yeah, so maybe we can put together a, a solid week this week that got jacked up last week. Wow. Back on track. Got paint on it too. The way we're supposed to. I can't get that out. I don't know. I almost considered changing it up just a little bit and actually taking Wednesdays completely off and just doing a ground with the goat till Monday and Friday. Why? Do a ground with the goat Monday, do your live, do our live Tuesday, take Wednesday off, do our video Thursday, do a ground with the goats Friday, and then have Saturday and Sunday off. Whatever you want, babe. But okay. that's not a for sure thing yet. We're going to stick with what we got going on right now and do the th three ground with the goats. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Fly Tuesday. Long day Thursday. All okay. right, guy. Hold on, jibber jabber about a whole lot of nada nada. Always. We love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You're all amazing. If you haven't already, like, like comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Y'all know what to do. Until next time. I love you. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go of the sky.